Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here to show you the pens that I got during last month, which means the pens from April. Uh, I have, let me check, five, uh, seven pens that I got and that's just that. That's the overview of the pens I got. I will show maybe some more just for comparison purposes and then that's it. But it may get a little bit long as usual, so be aware of that. So let's start. I'm not showing them for the order that I got them, but for some, for non, for any special order, actually. So the first pen I'm showing you is this one. This is one of the pens that I got during the month of April. It wasn't even the, the first that I got, I, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter really. So, this is one of those, and this is the Kaigalu 316. And this is the yellow version, but it is a very, very soft yellow. You can see the insides. You can see there, the section is black. So, you can see through the material. It is very, very light, but that's how it goes. I like this kind of material and I decided to go for it because these are new colors that they released recently, I think for 2020. And now for 2021 they released even more and new colors have, as far as I understood, all the parts of the same color. So the barrel section, end of the barrel and top of the cap are all of the same color of the resin. So maybe I will get one of those, I'm not sure yet. I have to look at the colors available to see if any of those does something for me and then I may go for them or not. I have to check them. I already have too many pens, I don't think I need many more. I have to, <laughs> but that's kind of statement that people who collect pens cannot make. So I have this one, this is the yellow version, but I already had this older version and when I made the unboxing I showed you there are some differences. I cannot exchange parts between the pens, for example, not the caps or anything. Um, they have slight construction differences, but they are overall the same pen. This version is called the Tiger Eye, which is also a very beautiful version. This is one of the pens that are available now that follow that very famous kind of Parker Centennial Blue Fold style. This is a marbled blue one, a vintage, uh, not a vintage, but uh, an older pen. And they, these pens share the same kind of components, the cap with some kind of a ring or two rings or a large band. Then you have a section which is black and you have a number six nib. So the size of the nibs are similar, so they all follow the, the same kind. And I'm seeing now uh, lots of brands going for the same kind of design, which is nice because when I think about a fountain pen, just out of my head, the shape... Actually, if you ask me to draw the picture of a fountain pen, I would make the drawing of a pen that had the same shape as a Parker Dufold flat top and bottom, cylindrical shape, and that would be that. I have here also a Moonman M600S, the same kind of uh, construction, same kind of idea, same kind of concept, as you can see. And I also have here to show you a Jin Hao 600, uh, Jinhao 100 or Centennial, it's called, it's called both ways, so the same kind of pen. Cartridge converter, black section, black end of the barrel, black end of the cap, so these all follow the same concept. And because I like yellow pens I went for this one, although it is a very light yellow. The next pen I want to show you that I got during April is the, let me check the name because I'm not used to this one, Hongdian 960 
Nebula Orange. This is a very interesting color. I don't really have one pen that looks similar to this one to compare. So I think I will compare it with the, the, the Kaigaloo. However, it is a different pen because it has the band on the bottom of the cap. It has a metal top of the, of the cap, not that black end piece. So it has a different shape. But it is an interesting pen. The material is very beautiful, very bright. It is orange, but it is kind of a light orange, but very, very bright. The material reminds me of these of the Kaigaloo, but with a different color. It has a short section with the same color as the rest of the pen. And it has the nib, which looks nice. However, my nib, maybe it's not visible, the gold plated parts or the gold colored parts of the nib are not exactly fit into the lines that are engraved. But we are talking about these pens that they are not that great all the time. But it is a nice pen, it is already inked and it writes well, so I'm quite happy with that. There is that little a uh, lack of perfection in the plating of the nib, but that's just a detail. Now, the next pen I want to show is a very special pen that I got from Waski Squirrel. He had this pen he wanted to exchange. I had two pens that I sent to him to for exchange, and we have, I'm talking about the Pilot Fermo, which is the same pen as the. It's overall. Uh, pilot Capless, but the Pilot Capless, I have one here. This is the green Carbonesque or green Kazuri. It has a retractable nib by uh, using a button. This one has a retractable nib by rotating a knob. But the nib unit is the same, uh, everything works the same way. So the, the the overall experience of writing with both pens is kind of similar, but I really find this one very exciting. I really find this very, very nice. Uh, this pen, however, I will make a review, so I'll talk about this in more detail. But one thing that we have in this pen is that it's not that easy to use the nib, at least to put the nib out, just with one hand. It takes a lot to turn to be able to do that. Uh, with this one it's very easy. You just do this and it uncaps and caps. Let's call it like that. And this one, let me try to put all into the frame. I have to make more than one movement. However, I find myself doing this because this is very satisfying. So this is a very nice pen, a very interesting one. It's nice because I can exchange the nib units with the, with the other capless pens that I have if I want to. So it is a nice feature, but I was wishing for this pen for a long time. So this pen was in my wish list for 2021 and I was really happy to have it and it has a slightly increased value because it used to belong to another youtuber that which whose work I like to which work I like to follow so it was a nice thing the next pen that I want to show is another pen that really amazed me because it is unique, it is kind of, a, it's a pen, it's, it's an independent maker and it, the pen is very, very nice. I like heavy pens, so this one is the Gravitas Stainless Steel, let me show you, Skull Edition, it has skulls and this pen is great, it looks great. It looks, as I told you, if you go to uh, the 19th, uh, an European 19th century palace or 18th century, you'll see lots of walls 
covered with silks and this looks like the patterns of those silks actually this one has the skull so not in the kind of pattern but in the kind of feel when you hold the pen you don't feel this you don't feel the this texture and it is not that visible you can have this pen uh, around other people that they will no not notice they are skulls if only if they look closer but the pen is really nice it looks matte finish it is made of stainless steel it's very happy it's very heavy it has a number six nib a yovo nib that's the only thing that i would love it was different it i would wish it had a a branding of the of the brand of gravitas but the pen is amazing even the noise it makes i i really like it it's very very heavy but it is so so nice and you'll be able to use it in a very discreet way they have another version which which is black and silver which is much more flashy and i'm looking at it maybe maybe one day if you ask me which pen does this remind me does this remind me maybe it reminds me a little bit of the caveco supra also a stainless steel stainless steel pen but it has this middle section that you can take out it's like an extension it has a number six nib although this is a box that one is a yovo but it's a different it's a different pen it reminds me this one but it's a different pen this is this can be a pocket pen if you remove this middle section. This one is not a pocket pen. It is a very heavy pen. It, it feels really, really nice. I really enjoy that pen. I'm sorry, I'm having this hand here for a lot of time and I'm blocking the light there. I have another pen with skulls, which is this one, which is a lovely Montegrappa Fortuna crowned skull, which has some skulls and some kind of dark romantic patterns and then it has this skull with a crown and with crystal red crystals it is a very fun pen also with number six nib and in a way it reminds me because of the theme not because of the design the three pens that are left are smaller pens in length. So, one of those is this little thing that is very, very funny. It looks like a cartoon pen. This is a Platinum Glamour. And the Platinum Glamour is an older pen from the 1980s. And it, it is a very small pen. Uh, quite wide, but small, very short with this nib that has this very interesting shape because it's very wide and it posts and you can write quite comfortably with that but it is a very unusual pen I got this pen because at one point I was interested because I was reading some posts online I saw that this pen existed and this is a very interesting pen this is the... it has a little thing there. It is the Tombao, Tombao Zoom 828FP, which is like that. You have this kind of nib. And I found this pen very interesting and I looked at it at eBay. Then I understood that this pen was inspired by the Platinum Glamour and I searched a little more and I saw that the Platinum Glamour is very expensive. But I found one very inexpensive from Brazil so I bought it and now I have both and they are very fun pens if you ask me they look like for example the pilot costume 67 the same kind of very simple shape with rounded top and bottom some gold colored rings a golden clip but you can see that the proportions are completely different let and these are uh, push fit caps and let me just show you the proportions of the nibs for you to see how different these nibs are so the one on the right is the nib of the pilot costume 67 which is a pilot number 5 nib the other one is the 
platinum, glamour and see even the proportions of the nib are crazy. But the pen is fun and it writes well, so it is a very, very interesting little thing. And am I going to use this pen all the time? No. Obviously I won't, but I bought this pen to use, so it is in usable condition. It is inked right now. I wrote with it several times, so it is an interesting pen and I had to have this in my collection. More for collection purposes than for just for writing, but obviously I will use it for writing once in a while and I think this is a nice pen to take to some work meetings when work meetings are again allowed without being online and here the vaccination is still a little bit late so I'm still working from home. Now, I told you the pens would be short, the next one is a short one, is this, the Caveco, Caveco this is a new edition, the, the, the collect, it's called Caveco Collection, it's a new series of limited pens, this is the Caveco Collection Light Lavender, and you may ask me, but you bought this pen already, or you got this pen Caveco sent to you for a review, yes they did, as the new part as a new product range, but when they made the pens they had uh, an error and they imprinted some of them as Caveco Sport, the regular naming on the Caveco pens, on the Caveco Sport pens, but these ones should have this Caveco collection. So Caveco sent me the right one, but some of the wrong ones got to stores. So I had to get one with the wrong imprint. The pen is exactly the same. One has a fine nib, the other one has a medium. But it is the same exact pen, just the caps are different and are different just because of that detail. That detail, the engraving is incorrect. And for a collector, a pen with a mistake on the engraving is is more collectible than anything else. So, you see, this, was, this is kind of a special and limited edition and this is a part of the special and limited edition that has a mistake on the engraving. So, how much fun could it be? Now, the last pen that I want to show is another Caveco that I received also this month. I received because I bought it, bought it from Germany and this is the Caveco Art Sport Pearl Orange. If you ask me, is this pen very orangey? No, it's not. This is kind of uh, orange, a little bit more yellow, and this is not the same kind of orange. Not at all. But the material is amazing. It, it's, it's really one of the most amazing Caveco Art Sports. The Caveco Art Sports are pens that are more on the expensive side. They have steel nibs. But they have these kind of acrylics that are more expensive and they were made by Visconti, the acrylics. Uh, so they are more expensive. But Kavec made an edition and this is very nice. I have here other Kavec Art Sport collections from this generation 3. This is the Coral, Coral Red, which is not an amazing shade. It is very nice and I will show you soon one of these days why I find it very nice but uh, it's not spectacular as this one it has no chatoyance or anything like that this is the red marble this is the metallic green this is the tiger eye and the tiger eye is really is a common name for many different stuff so you can see here the tiger eye from Kavec with the tiger eye from Kaigalu and they have they are very different and also the very elusive green and yellow which is very very hard to find but I got one of those however there, there are lots of them that are still missing and I guess some of them I will not be able to find anymore because they are sold out. But 
Unfortunately, for Kavek Art Sports, I cannot afford to buy them all as they are released because they are expensive and I cannot afford them all. So, sometimes I have to sell some pens before I buy a Kaveco. And Kaveco doesn't send me these ones for review, so I really need to invest my money and choose the, the, the rarest ones to buy first. However, this one, uh, this generation 3 of Kaveco Art Sports, I think it will be forever incomplete. The generation 1 and 2 are complete in my collection, but these, these generation 3, I'm not sure I'll be able to do it. So, these are the seven pens that I got during last month. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to meet you here soon. Bye.